this is Lisa sharing life stories with you. I had a shoulder itch there. I'm going to show you. This is that cheese salad I always talk about, right? And first of all, these are those containers my husband bought me. He bought me three sets of these. I need to start making stuff and freezing it. I keep forgetting. It's just like so much shit goes on. I cleaned up so much stuff before I came to work today. I vacuumed empty garbage twice. I made something fast, but it was good. Hamburger helper stroganoff. My husband likes that. I made that. Um, I made these fish sticks. Uh, they're all right, but I gave a lot of it to the cats and cheese sticks. Gave a lot of it to the cats. That was stuff that I had gotten for free. I wanted to make room in the freezer so I can buy some food and TV dinners that we actually like. But anyways, these are these containers. They're on Amazon, right? They're leak resistant. They're stain resistant. These are good. These are where I would never get anything but these anymore. No Tupperware, nothing. These are what's at, and I don't know the name of them. I need to find the name of them and tell you guys so you can buy them. And I didn't come back on and do a video. I apologize with the prices of the stuff. The... Dove Clinical Antiperspirant Deodorant. They're ten fifty a thing, and I got four of them. So that's like fifty some dollars. I cannot believe those green shampoos. I don't know the name right now because it was in the previous video. Look at the previous video from yesterday. They were twenty one dollars a tube. So I figured it out. I have like $130 worth of shampoo. That's crazy. Then plus all these cords. I have like two or $300 worth of cords. I got the lady I work with. I didn't give it to her yet. But I got her three or four huge garbage bags full of. Remember all those little kid pajamas and those extra pants? giving to her. I kept the one pair of champion um, men's sleep pants for my husband. I don't know if he'll wear them because they got a slit in front and I don't know if he'll like that. Um, if he don't, then I'll give them away. But And then I got one pair of regular stretchy everyday pants, Bobby Brooks, to wear to, like to the store or whatever. Awesome. Uh, what else did I get? Just if you look at it alone, just what I kept, I kept, I gave those four bottles of wine away. I gave oh, so much candy away. I got some candy I'm going to take into this job in a little bit and give to them into the main office. It's like mints and, um, I don't know if I showed you guys this. I might as well show you this. I think I showed, I don't know, Hostess Mix. Because this is ripped right here. It's not open. But this is good till 2025 something. So is this, uh, this isn't even ripped nowhere. This ice cube sour is this. Lifesaver mint, same thing. Yeah, and some of this baby bunt cakes. I'm going to put that in that office so they can have that. Um... Just on um, all the cords, shampoo, cords and shampoo, I'm losing it. Cords and shampoo, and I'm just thinking there's something else, I don't know. I don't even know. But that's like four or five hundred dollars. That's crazy. These cords already did they charge my phone up in a little bit of time it's almost completely full i'm charging my little tablet now these cords are a godsend i needed these cords so bad i i got rid of those other cords i had in my purse i had three of them i got rid of them i got all these nice cords now and i got new ones all in the drawer i only took three out so i got three with me at work at all times 
so I can have stuff charged up. So I'm very happy. One bad thing, like, I kind of got on my neighbor a little bit now, and let me explain to you why. They've lived there for about 15, 16 years, something like that, next door to my mother-in-law. That's the same neighbor that I used to give shit to all the time that just think everything's just happening to them. Um, they, they would scare my mother-in-law at night. He would knock on the window 11, 12 o'clock at night and want to borrow cigarettes and wake her up. That is so wrong to do that to an old lady by herself and scare her. Uh, ignorant, ignorant, ignorant. Uh, he crashed his car again. He totaled his car. And they lie about everything. He was parked. I go, how in the hell was he parked and total his car? He was obviously driving or was sleeping and it hit. He goes, well, the other guy's car wasn't totaled. Just ours. Well, good. Because he had a brand new SUV before this. Total that. So I'm like, you know, it sucks. It's winter time, but I'm sorry. Maybe he shouldn't be driving for a while. Oh, it can happen. She wrote, it can happen to anybody that's overworked and underpaid. I go, what are you talking about? We're all overworked and underpaid. <laughs> they got excuses for everything. Like, I cannot be sorry for people that are ignorant. Oh, we're new to this house thing. We don't own a hammer or a screwdriver. You've been here for 15, 16 years. You couldn't get a fucking weed whacker or a screwdriver in that amount of time, you fucking bags of shit. That's, I hate people that lie and can never own up to their own shit. And those two next door to me can never own up to their own shit. I don't do everything perfect. I f screw up. I'm a bag of shit a lot of times. You guys don't know. You only see what I show you. I, I try to be as good as I can be. But I'm no saint. I'm no saint. I try. And it's an everyday progress and working. But I do genuinely care about people. But when people lie and act ignorant like that, like next door, I go, you act like you're the only ones going through anything. You guys don't even know. I don't even know if I told you this. I, I can't even remember if I told you this in my last video, but my other refrigerator. Oh, I did tell you. My other refrigerator's gone. So we buy, need to buy another six, $700 refrigerator. Um, like I said, and I go, you think you're the only ones that got anything? I go, in the last four or five months, we had two refrigerators go, two TVs, an expensive-ass microwave, $250 microwave. My husband bought me a new bed. That was $700. It was a, a certain beauty rest. That was, it's a $2,000 bed. So you do the math. A, a clear teapot, mats for the cats that don't even work, um... <laughs> Uh, electric blanket for the cat that was no good and I took back. That was another, I mean, just money going in and out of that door. Ten times more than when my mother-in-law was alive. We're spending and trying to make things better. Because shit is breaking down. It's old. So, she's, she needs to wake up, is what I'm trying to say. You're not the only ones. We're all going through this shit. And again, like I say, people who act like them don't help nobody else. Wow, what pretty twinkly lights up there. I've never noticed that before. Absolutely beautiful. We're all going through this. We're all having a hard time, but we got to stop and help other people too and not act like it's just happening to us. And I don't appreciate that about her. She wants me to feel bad, but he just totaled a car within this year. It was a brand new SUV. Now, how can you feel sorry? And then last car he had before that, he effed it up and ripped all those pumpers off and everything. He shouldn't be driving. He can't drive. They're both Google eyes. My husband calls her Google eyes. One's looking here, one she's looking, and they're not trying to be mean or anything like that, but they don't pay attention. You can't drive a car. They're going to kill somebody innocent one day, and it's just because of the grace of God that they haven't killed or hurt themselves or hurt somebody else. You got to pay attention. Oh, 
that pissed me off. You're not the only one having it hard. We all are, I said. We're all overworked and underpaid. Again, she makes it like they're the only two people going through this. Please, America, wake up. Don't think you're the only one going through this. We're all going through it. And it's how you go through it makes the difference. How you treat people makes the difference. Care about other people just beside yourself. Look at their woes and things. You know what I'm saying? I have done for years give to these people. And they don't care. They've never like gave anything back to say, oh, maybe you're having a hard time. Not, not just. It's always about them. And that's what I'm trying to get everybody in these videos to hope that you guys don't feel like that. That isn't just about what you're going through. It's about what we all are going through. And we can get through this and we can make it better for each other. That's what I hope in return comes out of these videos and people understand. Like I dropped off a bag today of that stuff that I gave my friend and now I'm giving it to this lady she's got two or three daughters and a son or something so that's a bunch more families that this stuff's going to swift her through I'm helping multiple families and multiple people and that's what it's about I like to do that I want to make a difference in people's lives Lisa's sharing life stories with you I love you all I want to inspire you all, but just don't feel like you're the only one going through it. We're all going through it. You're not the only one. I promise you. Don't think the world's on your back. The world's on everybody's back. Collectively the same. Love you all. Like and subscribe. Please subscribe and run my videos. As they would say, run that beautiful bean footage from the push commercials. I just like that saying. It's cute. Run my videos so I can get watch hours. I love you guys. Have a great day. And I'll be back tomorrow to drive you crazy with the grocery stores. Bye.